Hello, Assalamualaikum. This is Science Form 1's video, Introduction to Scientific Investigation on Subtopic 1.6, Steps in a Scientific Investigation. Okay, you have learned in primary school science process skill. So, science process skills include observing, classify, classifying, measuring and using numbers, making inference, predicting and communicating, using time-space relationship, interpreting data, define operationally, uh, controlling variable, making a hypothesis, and experimenting. Okay, scientific method is a systematic method used to solve problems in science. This method consists of a few important steps to enable a problem to be solved or explained using a correct method. Okay, so steps in uh, scientific methods uh, identify the problem, construct hypothesis, control variables, plan the experiment, Conduct the experiment, collect data, analyze and interpret data, make a conclusion, and finally, you write a report. Okay, so this okay, is one example, example of experiment. experiment. Is, uh, pendulum bob or metal bob, uh, string, okay, meter ruler, uh, stopwatch, and retort stand. Okay, so first, measure the length of the <coughs> for the first set, make it 20 cm. Okay, so this is about 20 cm. Okay, and then you put it here. Okay, <coughs> so what are you are going to do is when you release this um, metal box, and when you release the metal box, okay. You release and the metal box will come back here. It is uh, count as one. Eh? From here to here to here, this is one uh, swing, one complete swing, eh? one complete oscillation. Okay. So when you release, immediately start the stopwatch. Okay. So you take the reading of stopwatch for ten uh, complete oscillation, ten complete swing. Okay, so this is the first set, uh, 20 cm long. Okay, so we start now. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, then you take the reading. Uh, the reading now is 9.2. 9 centimeter so you record uh, the time taken 9.2 second eh? uh, the time taken for 10 complete swing okay then you repeat the experiment okay ready 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and then you record it is 9.1 second and repeat one more time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay and record And record eh? 9.3 seconds. Okay, and then next is you adjust the length. Okay, make it 30 centimeter. Make it 30 centimeter. Adjust the length of the pendulum. Okay, 30 centimeter.
this is the V now. Okay, again, same thing. Eh? Record the time taken for 10 complete oscillations. So, we start now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 complete oscillation. And the time taken is... 11.2 then you record okay. and then again the second reading ready go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and record Okay. And you record this is ten and again one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is eleven point. Okay, so why do we have to repeat the uh, experiment for three times for each length? Why? Okay, find out the answer. Okay, this is example of a uh, report, experiment report. Okay, so you have problem statement. Uh, problem statement is a question. Okay, for example here, how does the length of a pendulum um, affect the period of one complete oscillation? Okay, then you have hypothesis, uh, variables. You have three variables, uh, manipulated variable, responding variable, and constant variable. And then, plan experiment. Uh, include material and apparatus. So you list all the materials and apparatus uh, used in the experiment. And then uh, procedure. You write the procedure. Okay. Then after you done the experiment, you record the data. Uh, depends on the experiment. For this experiment, uh, you use table to record the data. And then discussion and uh, here we use uh, the time space relationship okay in discussion okay so that's all thank you for watching okay bye